Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. You've already seen me do two videos. I took uh, one of my six stars to rank four. Uh, I took another one to rank three, and we're about to take another one to rank three. And if you think you can guess who this one is, and this one, I don't know if anybody can guess this one because I was surprised myself. Uh, I made sort of a spur of the moment kind of listening to what people were telling me, but I'm happy I did it. And you'll see that by the end of the video. Anyway, if you think you can guess, leave a comment below, but we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Anti-Venom. Now, let me give you a little bit of history with Anti-Venom and myself. When I got him, wasn't excited, didn't know that much about him. Uh, but I heard, the only thing I heard at that time was that he had a great synergy with Spider-Man 2099. And at the time, Spider-Man 2099 was killing it for me in Alliance War. So I took him up and fully planned to take him to rank four. But then Kabam added that banning system, which I am not a fan of. Um, and then a white listing and all that good stuff. And suddenly I couldn't use the champ that I wanted to use. And so I was like, okay, I got anti-venom. I was gonna take him up and start using him together with um, Spider-Man 2099 in war, you know, as well as some other content. But um, he kind of got put on the back burner for a little while. But then I kept hearing things about him. You know, it's like, okay, I remember just using him very briefly without any idea of what he could do or anything like that. And the fight went pretty slow. And I was like, oh man, I don't like slow, you know, fighting champions. I was wrong because I wasn't using him correctly. Now he's, uh, you know, not the biggest damage dealer, but he's got crazy utility and his damage is okay if you you know, build up his genetic and, and that special two is legit. And then after the special two, you've got a fury and you're killing the damage. You'll, you'll see that in the video uh, after this. So anti-venom uh, went from, as you saw, rank one to rank three. And I did that spur of the moment um, I had already, if you watched a previous video, you already saw that I used my two to three rank up gem, which meant I had a lot of science um, uh, rank up materials because the two to three was a science. So I used that one on the last champion. And now I can use these uh, resources on this champion. All right. So. We're gonna go into Realm of Legends and we're actually gonna do two fights. And even those don't showcase all that he could do. Really, three fights um, I could have used uh, to showcase some of his abilities. So first is gonna be Winter Soldier and that's just more showing you a little bit of his damage. Then uh, it's gonna be Wolverine and that's gonna show you some of his utility against Regeners, especially. I could have also fought uh, Juggernaut and shut down his Evade Unstoppable with Anti-Venom. He can do that as well. All right. So anyway, let's head on in there and see what he's got. All right. Let's head on in. But first, let's take a look at the synergy that I brought in here, which basically is just more damage. Okay. So every time Anti-Venom inflicts a genetic memory debuff, he's gonna deal a burst of damage, okay? Now, I basically took a very quick crash course in anti -Vac. So don't expect premium gameplay, but this guy is just, there's a lot to him. There is a lot to him. He has a lot of utility. All right, so. I'm going to try and uh, show you guys a little bit. So first of all, I'm not worrying about his uh, genetic memory debuffs. I just want to put him on there. 
So I want to build up, you know, get a combo of uh, 40. And that'll put all four on them. All right. There we go. So he's got all four. Uh, let me fire up the special three. And I don't quite remember all that it does. Um, but I'm going to try now to build up to a special two. And I remember that the special two will um, give you a fury for every uh, debuff that's on him, and it'll remove them. Look at that damage. That was crazy damage. And you can see the fury that I have up, and look at the damage I'm doing to him. That is insane. So, when I first used Anti-Venom, of course I didn't know anything about how to use it. Huh. That is just nasty. Um, and I considered him kind of slow. Well, he was slow because I wasn't using him properly. Look how quick that was. Um, not as fast as some others, but definitely faster than when I used him. All right, so what I want to do now, after we show that, I want to uh, get to um, Wolverine, and I want to use him against Wolverine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out, put in some other teams so that I can just go through really quickly, and then I'll come back and we'll do the uh, Wolverine fight with him. All right, so be right back. All right, this is my very, very first time going in here with uh, Anti-Venom. And I'm going to attempt to shut down Wolverine's healer. All right, so. Let's first, uh, I think we already messed up. Okay, that's the Spectre. All right. You can switch it with uh, second mediums. So now I have to remember to just do medium, light, light, light. There we go. Now he's got Spectre on him. Okay. Two Spectres on him. Three. All right. Probably should. Well, that might be okay. Yeah, he still has it on him. Four on him. Okay. Let me switch back. Come on. <laughs> Too busy looking at it. Come on, come on, come on. All right, I think he has the max. All right, so what I need to do at this point is um, fire off, uh, I think, special ones. I think that puts the petrify on him. Okay, come on. That. Cool. Come on. Yep, here's the petrify. Whoop. I hit the wrong, uh, I, I slid and I meant to do something different, but that's okay. 
So he's basically got specters and petrify on. He is not about to heal. As you can see, the uh, petrify is doing its work. Another one. Hmm. Yeah. Anti Venom just has a lot in his toolkit, man. And I, I heard about it. He's not the, you know, necessarily the fastest killer, but he's not really slow if you, you know, play him right. Um, but he's still not going to, you know, compete with the big, huge damage dealers. But when you need some of that utility, he's got anti evade. Um, he can shut down Unstoppable. Um, you can see he handled the uh, regen just fine. Um, he's actually a really good champion. A really good champion. And I'm happy that I took him up. And I'm learning uh, more about him all the time. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. What do you think about Anti-Venom? Take care, and you all have a blessed day. Thank you.